All right, so in this argument, there are no indicator words at all. Kind of frustrating to deal with. And so when you have no indicator words, you want to look for the reason why. Which part is supporting the other part? And so the part that is more detailed will probably be supporting the other part that's more general in nature. Anyone have any thoughts on what's the conclusion versus what is the evidence here? Fruit and vegetables contain not necessarily uh, the heavier can does not necessarily contain more food. I don't know. Nice, yeah, you're right, you're right, absolutely. The heavier can does not necessarily contain more food. Someone else want to elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, I think that was the conclusion. I was stuck between A and B, and I realized that B just explains A, like why um, it doesn't necessarily contain more food, and it's just straight from the Yeah. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly right. So E is kind of like a paraphrase of the details in the remainder of the stimulus so going back to support the first sentence. Doesn't necessarily contain more food and the reason why. Yeah? You, nothing. Yeah, Hannah? Oh, no. I was just going to say that the, um, the water is the reason why the, the conclusion is supported. Yeah, perfect. So basically the water is filler in the can. It just comes down to that. And so weight does not necessarily equal more food because water weighs a lot. Nice. Well done. Like what would you call E? Is it more like more reasoning based or why do you care about E? Because it's not like it's incorrect, but why is it not the best answer versus A? It's just like the reasoning why. Well, the question is, what is ultimately the conclusion here? What are they looking to prove? I guess my question was like, if it includes the evidence as well as the conclusion, it's like off track. It's just looking for, like, that's why. It would be off track, but E specifically is actually does not contain the conclusion because E says nothing about food. And the conclusion is about the amount of food that it contains specifically. So, and you, if you look at E, it uses a lot of the same words, but it doesn't mention food. And that's the point that we're trying to make there.